Okay then my friends, so in the last video we saw that now logged in people can now create guides, okay? But if we were to create a guide and press create, then it wouldn't show up right here as we created it. In order to see that guide, we'd have to refresh the page so that we go out again and get the updated data when the application loads and we see it there then. So we saw that in the last video and that's not a great user experience. What would be nice is if when we create a new guide over here and click create, it automatically appears in this list and we don't have to refresh the page. Now, the reason it's not doing that at the minute is because we're only going out and we're getting data when we detect a state in authentication changed, right? So when a user logs in or logs out, then we're going out to retrieve these different guides. So since when we add a new guide over here, we're not changing the state of our authentication, it doesn't go out and refetch those guides. Now, fortunately, there is a very, very, very simple way to combat this. And the way we can do that is by setting up a real-time listener to our database. So one of the seriously cool things about Firestore is that it offers this real-time service. Okay, so if there is ever a change in the database, we can listen to those changes from the front end and we can react to them and retrieve that data change. And that is awesome. So that's what we're going to do. Very, very simple to do. So instead, right here, of saying dot .get and dot .then, instead, we delete those and we use a method called on snapshot. Okay? And what this does is it looks at the database and says, okay, I'm going to get the data to begin with and retrieve that. And that's going to work exactly the same. It's going to hold all the same docs when we first load up the application if we're logged in. So it does that initial check to get the data. And then what it also does is it sets up a listener to the database. So now every time there's a change in the database, this function right here, it fires again. And we receive that updated snapshot. And remember the snapshot is like a picture of how that collection looks at that moment in time. So if we add a document, then that snapshot is gonna contain that updated document. That makes sense, right? So then again, when we get that updated snapshot, if something's been added, we're calling this setup guides again, this time with the updated data. So we have an extra element inside that array now. So when we call this method, it's going to output that to the DOM. So that's all there is to it, my friends. If we save that now, this should work. What I'm going to do is create a new guide. Um, how to spell this correctly. How to defeat Goron in, I don't know, Ocarina, Ocarina of Time. Still my favorite Zelda game. And the guide content, blah, 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 a brilliant guide. Create this. Now, it should automatically appear in this list. Create, and you can see it right here. Awesome. So that's done it in real time now because we've set up this real-time listener to the database, and that's all there is to it.